Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this short video, I'll be showing you how to import Excel data into the multi-charge trading platform. So first up, it is more than likely that you have a complete and ready to export Excel file. That being said, you'll need to export it as a specific file type. This file type needs to be ASCII readable. So that being said, you should either export your file into a .txt, a .txt file, or I would suggest a .csv file. Now, once you have your .txt or your .csv file, head over to the multi-charge platform. So now that we're back on the platform, I want to take a detour real quick. Being that I'm not a professional trader, I don't have a stocked up Excel file with all my trading info that I would like to import into a specific symbol. That being said, I can export data from a chart I currently have on the platform. So to do this, I'll just highlight my chart here, go to File, and then Export Data. Select the contract that you sp have specified currently, and you can check these fields as well if you'd like. Click OK, and then select a location for your new text file. I'll put mine on my desktop and click Save. So now that I've done that, I have a text file with all the information you typically might have in an Excel file. Let me show you my file just so you can see the orientation and how it is laid out. As you can see in my text file, we have the different columns for date, time, open, high, low, close, up volume, down volume, etc. And all the information in it separated by commas. Now, in the, down the line in the future, when we do import this data into multi-charts, if you do run into any sort of problems, you may need to refer back to this screen right here, just so you can see the orientation and the notation of how this is lined up in the text file. If yours is lined up and oriented differently, it may not import correctly into the trading platform. Okay, so now you, that you've seen how the text file is laid out, we'll need to go into the quote manager window to import this data into our specific symbol that we would like to add it to. So head up to the top of your window here and left click the open quote manager window. And now once it's open, we'll need to find the specific symbol that we would like to import our information into. So a popular one that you might see is the E-mini S&P 500. And for my example, since I am running on a CQG data feed, I will be importing it to the E-mini S&P 500 index of March 2019. And one last bit of information that you should know is that if you are trading with this symbol, this should be connected right here. It should say on. If it is not connected, simply right click it, go down and right here you'll have a setting for connect symbol. Just make sure it's connected. Otherwise, you won't receive real-time data for this symbol. So now that I found my symbol that I'd like to import my data to, simply right-click it once again and go over to Import Data. And then head over to the ASCII. Now, once you have this selected, you'll need to locate the file that you created or exported from Excel. So if we scroll through the list here, we'll find my file right here. And as you saw, I did export it from the multi-charts platform and not Excel. But as long as it is a text file or ASCII readable file, multi-charts will handle it in the same way. The only difference is that since I did export it from multi-charts, my file is in the perfect format that multi-charts accepts. As you'll see here, I can automatically import it right now. If you're exporting or importing this from Excel, you may notice that your file is not in the perfect format. That's why I suggested if you need to, to go back to my text file to see the orientation and the formatting of the file type from multi-charts since it is perfect form already. So you may need to mess around with some of the settings here. You can select these to your liking. And once you're ready, select OK. The data was imported successfully. And now I have imported the data from my quote unquote Excel spreadsheet 
into my e-mini S&P 500 contract of March 2019. All right, so now that you successfully have imported your data into the e-mini contract of March 2019, head back to the platform main menu. And I would suggest to confirm that your import was actually successful to open a new scanner window, which is the button where my mouse is currently hovering over. Left click that. And if we double click the instrument box right here, we can specify the contract we would like to trade with. As you saw, I imported my information into the E-mini March index of 2019. And if I select OK, data will populate for this contract. And the data that is populating is actually the data that I imported into this specific contract. Now, if you're using multiple contracts or you had different Excel files for different contracts, you could import them as you like and all the, ref the changes will be reflected in this watch list or this scanner window. As you can see, we have all the different bits of information in the columns on the top, and the information populates along with its associated row. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.